Mayday fun in the workers' paradise. These are not the sort of scenes I expected to find in North Korea. There was nothing like this last time I came here. But this is real, for some at least. And there's another surprise. A lot of these kids can speak English. I have taken this several times, but it's time. It's time I have the... I have the I, um, I'm always exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm studying in the Kim Il-sung University. In Kim Il-sung University. Yes. And what, what subject are you studying? <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> Finance? Finance. Finance? Finance. Finance. <laughs> These are the children of the elite. Pampered and privileged, but even they live an incredibly isolated life. Do you meet foreigners very much? Do you get any opportunity to meet foreigners? Foreigners? Like me. Oh, okay. Is but it's my first chance. It's your first chance yeah. to meet a foreigner? Yeah. So I'm from England. Oh. <laughs> While the elite plays, the masses are preparing for the biggest political show here in decades. From atop a high monument, we glimpse thousands of dancers rehearsing for the opening of the Workers' Party Congress. Its job, to glorify the rule of Kim Jong-un. There is no escaping the Kim dynasty, even at Pyongyang Children's Hospital. Our Nobel laureates are regaled with tales of how Marshal Kim personally ordered the CT scanner but the children we're shown look remarkably well, and there isn't a real doctor in sight. I think these are not doctors. Even our VIP, Prince Alfred of Liechtenstein, is starting to have his doubts. So this is the challenge of trying to understand anything about this country. We're brought to a place like this, it looks very modern, it's very clean, there's modern equipment, but we're not allowed to talk to ordinary people. If I turn and try and ask these people, they run away. Everything we see looks like a setup. It's easier to understand the national sport Taekwondo. This is how North Korea sees itself. Tough, fearless, indomitable. But how does it view its enemy? How do you feel about us? How do you what feel do you about the outside world? How do you feel about the America? Who can blame her for losing her tongue with this lot taking notes? For all its tough behavior, this is a country terrified of the outside world. Rupert Winfield Hayes, BBC News in Pyongyang.